Welcome to Castle Game Day, Section Playoff Edition. I'm Lawrence Faulkner. I'm Dylan Rice. Rams, for the first time in Castle Roble history, are 12 and 0. Entering tomorrow's game, the Section Playoff game, at Oakmont at 1 p.m. This week's opponent, the Intercom Tigers, a team that is 11 and 1, and also hungry as well. Some key questions for tonight. One, speed versus speed. Both teams are fast, but which team is faster? Two, defensive stops. Rams need to get defensive stops late in the game to win the game. And finally, Saturday afternoon football. Rams playing tomorrow afternoon. How will that be compared to a usual Friday night game? Fact about speed, the Rams are the fastest team on grass. And on Saturday, when we play on this artificial turf surface, here to play on that, to make us hyped up to be even quicker than normal. Intercom has that at their home field. And defensive stops late in the game, the Rams are looking to pull ahead early on offense and just let the defense do the rest, hold Intercom down. Speaking of defense, this week's player profile is Devin Johnson, senior. Player profile. Since this is the first section championship that CASA has ever played in, does that create any pressure for you and your teammates? Yeah, but we've had pressure all season to play well, and uh, we live off pressure. What is your favorite defensive coverage? Uh, cover two, because it's, uh, it's not too difficult, and I can't get burned. How special was it beating Rodriguez on your last home game ever at Newman Field? Well, I can't really think of anything better that could have happened, so it's about as special as it gets. What is your favorite moment of the four years you've been playing football here at Castle Roble? Uh, I got a pick JV year for a touchdown, and I haven't really done much since, so it's my favorite moment. My dream play is uh, going up for a pick, and I catch it, and then the receiver takes out my legs. I do a backflip land the backflip, run down the field, pitch it to Kyle Murray, and he gets a touchdown. What do you think the outcome of the game is going to be? I think uh, we're going to win by two touchdowns, one of those being mine. Now you know about Devin Johnson, here's Chad Haddix with the section playoff edition of Sideline Report. Sideline Report. It's the one and only Chad Haddix here at your sideline report. We're going to get things started off with the injuries. This week, one injury, Cole Carter with the ankle. He's probable for the game. On the other hand, I had a chance to talk with a couple athletes and see how they're going to adjust and take advantage to Intercom running the cover four defense. So, Charlie, Intercom runs a cover four. What are you guys going to do to take advantage of that situation? Uh, we're going to try pass as much as we can, throw some short passes, maybe open, open up the run game for Matt get him going so he can score, do his thing, like he always does. And same thing to you, Cody. Yeah, I mean, we're going to try to throw short this week, you know, a lot of outs and bubbles and stuff like that, and their goal is probably to stop Matt, so we got to step it up on the pass game. All right. And, Charlie, you're all league. How does that make you feel being a senior and this is your last year playing? Uh, it makes me feel good that I got honored like that uh, for what I did. Well, I was just trying to uh, perform every game to – my fullest potential and just try to score as much as I could. And Cody, you have honorable mention. That has to be a good ego booster. How do you feel going into the game with that? I feel pretty good. I mean, coming into the year, I mean, my goal is just to have a couple catches, a game, and stuff like that, and all my hard work paid off, and honorable mention, it feels good. Now back to Lawrence and Dylan at the front desk. 